What's good fam? It's your boy Ghetto, back with another video. And in this video, Akai has released the 2.14 update, which does finally include stems. We got a lot to talk about y'all. Follow me. So first, before we get started, if you're looking to get some new gear for your studio, like that brand new MPC Key 37, please click my link and check out Zounds.com. You can get a lot of gear for no credit or background check with very reasonable payment plan. Clicking this link will help the channel at no extra cost to you, and there's a lot of stuff for you to choose from. So if you're looking for something new, go ahead and check out that link. Now, I didn't make a video about the 2.13 update, so I'm kind of going to roll both of those into one. So let's start there before we get to stems. Now, there is one big thing I think a lot of people were waiting on, and then there are a bunch of smaller things with the 2.13 update, and I'm just going to go over those really quickly. Now, the biggest thing that the 2.13 update brought, in my opinion, is compatibility with macOS Sonoma. So now the MPC software is natively compatible with the latest Mac operating systems. 2.13 also brought the ability to auto load projects. If that's something you wanna do, I probably won't do that because I always start from an empty project, but a lot of people wanna start from a template or something like that. So that will work really good for you. It also added the ability to lock in chords so that you can play a chord with just one note on a key if you're using the MPC key 37 or the key 61, which is pretty cool. I personally feel like that should have been rolled into pad perform and made to where it would work universally across all MPCs. But for now, it's just on the key 37 and the key 61. They also added the ability to download the instruments directly to the built-in internal storage. I would never want to do that, but for people who don't have an SD card or an internal SSD, that option is there. Use it at your own risk because if you fill up that internal built-in storage on the MPC, it does tend to have issues. So I would stay away from that. In my opinion, you should always use an SD card or some type of other storage method in order to save all of your samples, projects, and things like that everything they also made the undo button easier to understand what was going on when you're using shit so you know little added functionality that's pretty cool i can't knock them adding something or making something better as always there's also a bunch of software stability and bug fixes to make sure that everything is running fairly smoothly now again this doesn't mean that everything's going to be perfect there still might be some things that pop up but now we're going to get into this 2.14 update and as many people have said with this update the goal is to get this thing running as good and as smoothly as possible now let's get into these stems Many of you have seen stems working on the hardware unit. Not a lot of you have seen stems working in the actual software. So I'm going to show you the software side and the hardware side at the same time. You can kind of see both and it'll give you a better picture of what it is that's going on when people are using stem. So the first thing we're going to do is go to sample edit. I got an unreleased song, something that may be coming out soon. I'm going to go ahead and drop this in. So now we're going to put this in stems. I'm going to process the entire song. It's probably going to take some time. I'm not sure how long it's going to take, but I'm pretty sure it'll be a little while. So I'm going to go to process and you can actually see everything on the screen and on the MPC. So you get to see exactly what's happening in both the hardware unit and the software. So now I'm going to scroll over until we get to create stems. And if you have an empty drum program, you're going to want to hit the pad where you want the stems to go. Since we're on an empty drum pad, I'm going to put it on pad one. Um, I'm not going to change anything else, so it'll separate everything out, and we're going to hit do it. From here, it's going to be a bit of a waiting game. The time it takes is going to be different depending on the speed of your computer and your processing power. Some people's may be slower. Some people might be a little faster. It also depends on the length of the sample. Samples that are shorter in length will process a lot faster. 
Also, I want you to note that outside of dragging the sample into the sampler, I did everything else with the hardware unit. I, I no longer touched the mouse. I did everything directly from here. Okay, now that the stems has finished processing, it took a, a little bit of time, not an extreme amount. It was a little faster than what I remember Rip X being, so I'm not necessarily mad at that. Now let's go to the main menu, hit pad one and see what we got. Yeah, you pad one. Yeah. I'm gonna go up here to program edit. Go to the sample tab, the second sample. It's a little boxiness in the drums that I hear. I definitely heard some vocal bleed in here. Yeah, so I think it did a decent job. Not exactly the best that I would hope for, but this is my own song anyway, so I got all the stems. <laughs> but if I was doing another song, I'm pretty sure I would get a little different results. I'm gonna continue playing with this thing. I know I'm gonna have a lot of fun with it, as I know you're gonna have a lot of fun with it. There may be some other things to talk about as far as the 2.14 update. And if there are, they will be in one of these videos listed over here. That's all I got for this one. And as always, I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm out.